Hello everyone, I'm Elham Chahon Su and I want to talk about tangible interfaces for children. At first, I should talk about some uh, general definition. Uh, tangible user interface is non-traditional way to interact with digital information using a physical environment. And manipulative material or any concrete object that allow students to explore an idea in an active or hands-on approach. Manipulative it can be almost everything, blocks, shapes, spinners, or even paper that is cut. As far as we know, uh, children communicate and learn through play and exploration. They gain new skills from social interaction. So collaboration is uh, an important skill for young children to learn. In Article 1, they aim to develop collaborative storytelling technology for children aged 5 to 7. The focus uh, of the, this research uh, was integration within real classroom in, uh, environment. And uh, they try, during the research, they try to create magic carpets. The base of magic carpet is KitPad. In fact, they have extended the University of Maryland's KitPad. It is a shared uh, 2D drawing tool that allow children to create their stories. Children use uh, various tools like crayon or paintbrush uh, to create their story. And uh, they can use uh, Zoom for uh, see more details. Also, they're linking these, uh, these element, elements uh, together to create sequence of events. Uh, during this uh, research, they face two problems. The first one is uh, difficulty to use some of the features uh, of KitPad for children and also to children restrict to small groups. So they decided to extend KitPad with an approach that is physical and tangible. They try to fall, uh, follow these goals uh, the, for example, uh, children collaborative activities or uh, using the traditional uh, materials such as uh, crayon or paper and so on. Here we can see the structure of magic carpet uh, that involve a, a number of pressure sensors placed under, the, uh, under a carpet. Uh, and how it does work? Uh, children uh, with standing on the sensors at the front of the carpet uh, would be the mean of zoom in to the drawing. Uh, standing on those at the back would zoom out, and on the side, uh, at the sides, would pan the viewpoint left and right. During this research, uh, they face uh, different challenges, such as vertical movement. Uh, for that, uh, for that, have um, is, uh, intensive uh, sessions and a lot of brainstorming. And uh, at the end, they decided to use of accessory, as we can see uh, in the pictures. And also, uh, they faced the requested uh, request for direct navigation uh, to each element uh, or uh, in the home. Uh, for that, they try to use uh, barcode navigation. And also, it's important to refer uh, the carpet uh, has a modular design and it was uh, uh, suitable for each real place. And at the end of uh, the research, they presented this gu uh, guideline for design of tangible for classrooms. Uh, for example, uh, use a um, physical size and physical prop to encourage collaboration or focus uh, on uh, technology rather than the published produce products and so on. These papers present the development of a design concept for an interactive play system and learning tool for children. The concept was showed with LA the Explorer, an accessible and uh, multi-user unit, a set of tangible tools and uh, software applications designed for a school environment. They passed two stages uh, for this um, research. 
and they face uh, different challenges uh, such as designing information technology for young children that means uh, children has limitation for reading abilities and motor skill and also uh, cost limitation for the school environment here uh, we can uh, we can see the components uh, of LA Explorer that is uh, a doll, a teleporter, a potter, and backpack, postcards, and camera. Uh, now uh, we have a scenario of PlayStation. During uh, this uh, PlayStation, children practice language skill through problem solving. The uh, agent sent to Holland and guide the children through the, pr the process of growing a tulip. Firstly, children solve a rebus. They browse the um, uh, alphabet and uh, select letters by turning the knob and confirming uh, their selection on the touch screen. Then, using the camera, they um, capture real-world uh, images related to the words they, they, um, they have constructed. They connect the camera to the teleporter uh, to input the photos uh, into the GUI. Each children uh, then uh, and create their stories and dragging uh, the corresponding uh, pictures uh, to common area and also the, uh, make a sequence. The sequence describes the growing uh, tulip. During the research, uh, the uh, six dependent variables were analyzed. Um, we can see here, such as verbal discussion, engagement, motivation, and in, in, uh, enjoyment. And their achievements uh, from uh, this uh, research, uh, uh, they believed that the combination of interactive visual sounds and text could be a powerful research to support the educational program, especially for the learning uh, of uh, foreign uh, language. Or um, older children were more verbal. Uh, and more collaborative behavior than the younger children, and so on. In, the, in this article, uh, they uh, presented a new classification of manipulative. Uh, this is a frugal inspired manipulative and Montessori inspired manipulative. Uh, FIMs are building tool enabling children to design real world things, objects, and uh, physical structure. And MIMES uh, are a set of building blocks too, but are primarily focused on modeling conceptual, more abstract uh, structures. They present, uh, they present a digital mouse that is professional uh, building block, blocks. Uh, they describe two members of digital mimes class, that is flow blocks and system blocks, uh, and we can see the uh, component of each uh, of each them. Uh, and during the research, they found that the working with hands bring deeply learning for children. Uh, we know that abstract concepts are hard to learn. With tangible interfaces or uh, as a teaching tool, uh, we are able to facilitate uh, this concept. And we can see the advantages of them, uh, sensory engagement, that means uh, the natural way children learn, accessibility, uh, that is uh, dramatically uh, improves, uh, improves uh, accessibility to younger children and grouping learning. And also, we can, saw, uh, we can see the exa uh, example of uh, system blocks in the bottom. And for uh, future works, they focus on adding a new mathematical concept for few blo uh, flow blocks, such as additional manipulation uh, and uh, extend the digital mimes for children and adults. Okay, conclusion. Uh, in Article 1, they try to develop a technology that uh, not only supports existing classroom storytelling activities, uh, 
in Article 2, they present uh, a design concept of a multi-user interactive play system to promote collaborative learning. And in Article 3, uh, they present new, two new classifications. And in the end, uh, in, uh, I should emphasize uh, the role of collaboration and tangible uh, interface for children at early ages. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, do you have any question about this subject? Thanks.